That's uh, good because. Oh, oh, that is a cool skin. We look cool as fuck. I kind of like this hat better than the bowler hat. I'm not gonna lie. I like that hat. I think it suits. Like you. I know, obviously, they couldn't do a bowler hat. But like... I know no one can see me, but I am two fish. You'll probably see it at some point. Let me rag doll, and you can see I'm two. No, there we are. There, you see my face. No, get off my two penis. Get off my two penis. It's time. <laughs> this is how you died in Batman Forever. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I was going to say, it's funny if you say um, Ebola hat in our accent, it sounds like Ebola. Hat. Ebola. I remember Ebola. That was the least, least of our problems. Do you think if you've got Ebola hat, can you have like Corona vest? Uh, Potentially. C corona gloves? Corona. What, what, what are you doing? Corona... Um... SARS socks. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> Do you remember in the last episode where we were doing this puzzle and it took us fucking ages to figure out? Yeah. Yeah, and now look at Oh us. no, I jumped off! <laughs> oh shit. I'll just jump off the edge and spawn over there, I guess. Time to die. I'm coming, Margaret! <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it's fitting that we stuck with this game because we were here last time talking about Jacob's Ladder and we're here this time talking about Jacob's Ladder. Two! Well, not two, but like a... Well, I mean, I'm probably going to talk about the original bit still because we'll have to compare it. <laughs> yeah. So, it'll be interesting, because we'll still have to keep... Con oh god, oh no, what's happening? Go away! <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. Well, we have got a couple of bits of news before we uh, get into the show. Oh, we're holding hands, oh, why am I new? <laughs> um, <laughs> um, so, if y'all haven't heard, um, Disney Plus are releasing Mulan in cinemas and on Disney Plus... But you have to pay thirty dollars <laughs> to watch on Disney Plus, um, which is kind of cray, because you're also paying, you know, like six. Well, I mean, for I guess if we're, if we're talking American, that's like about eight dollars, I think. So eight dollars for Disney Plus. So you're basically paying around forty dollars um, to watch a shitty Mulan remake, starring an actress who supports all of the Hong Kong violence. Uh, and when you could watch the original on there for just the eight dollars if you have it, so that's fun. Indeed. Um, yeah, we think we've talked about it before a little bit, but it's a weird system because all it does is it just prioritizes people with bigger families. Yeah, like if you're like me, who's a young fellow that lives alone, then there's no reason why you would spend thirty mm. fucking quid for a movie. Whereas if you're, you know. A husband and wife with 12 kids then you'll be like wow 30 quid and we all get to watch this movie that's a good deal so it's kind of dumb like i guess the, I, I, I get why obviously like yeah. it makes sense because it's the only real thing they can fucking do but ah uh, i'm here i guess this is where we get the other pipe from yeah um yeah I, I totally understand that i get that i think that that's the problem that they obviously can't check who is watching it if there is like five people in it so it's a difficult system I would just think, well, you know what? Let's put it up for like ten dollars or something. If it's, you know, people, if people want to watch it, they'll watch it. They'll make money. It's Mulan. It's Disney. It's going to make money either way. I feel. Uh, so. I guess we can't open the door now because we moved this pipe. Oh, we can climb back up the ramp. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was like, how do we get out? Oh, there's a ramp right there. Okay, I guess we can just walk back out the way we came in. That Genius. <laughs> hey, we did a puzzle like the real way without cheating. I know. Look at us go. I hate it. <laughs> Let's go back to cheating. Uh, oh, but yeah, uh, I don't know. I have got Persona 4 Golden on Steam in June when it dropped surprise, remember? Yeah. For, uh, I, I don't even, I, I want to say, I'm going to Google it. Um, I want to get this right. I want to say it was like £19 for the game. Uh, Persona 4 Prize Steam. I could just go on Steam, but fuck it. Uh, yeah, it was the deluxe edition is twenty four ninety nine dollars. So yeah, it would have been about nineteen dollars for the deluxe edition with the art book and the soundtrack. So you didn't even need to get that. You could have got it for fifteen quid for the game. Yeah. Uh, Persona Four is a critically acclaimed role playing game where the main story here on howlongtobeat dot com is uh, main story sixty eight hours and thirty nine minutes. So right. that's 68 hours and 39 minutes of content for £15. 
And obviously, if I bought that on Steam and I lived with 12 other people, then they could all play that on my Steam for £15. It still seems like £30 is a lot for what's going to be an hour and a half's movie. And you, you know, know what the I mean? worst part is? It's just a rental. You don't even get to keep it. You don't even get to keep for the... Yeah, that's oh, how shit. fucking bollocks it is. I didn't even know that was the case. Yeah, that's even... Shit. It's the worst part of it. It's like, if you could keep it, there might be a little bit more like, mm, fair enough, but... All of my criticism there was against it being something you could keep. So if you yeah. can't even keep it, then yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. It's fucking bullshit. Like, yeah. That's insane. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, obviously, full price, full, blah, 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 full price video games are more than that. Like, yeah. you know, like if you're getting a, a new modern AAA game, it's, it's probably less time than Persona 4, to be fair. But uh, even if you're talking about, like, your general average AAA game, like, say, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn's coming out for PC soon. Yeah, I, I, just I bought played that. that. Yeah. Oh, it's a good game. If you, have you played yeah. it before? Uh, I haven't, no. I've seen, like, my friends play it, like, Jacob's played it and stuff, and I watched it, and it looked really cool. It's really like, good shit. I Probably the about... thing I've enjoyed most on PS4, and I didn't buy a PS4 for it. I just was like, oh, I'll pick that up, because it's an exclusive, and I'll see what it's like. Yeah. It's probably the one I ended up enjoying more than even the games that I bought a PS4 to play. It yeah. was surprisingly great. Like, I really, really enjoyed it. It wasn't my usual type of game, but... It, I just really enjoyed the way it was paced. I enjoyed the story. I enjoyed the gameplay, and I probably sunk about something similar in, maybe about forty hours. I would assume. Yeah. Probably more, but I'll average at that. And again, I mean, if I picked that up brand new when it first came out, it would have been what forty nine pounds. Probably. So you're talking like twenty quid extra for, uh, effectively, <laughs> like thirty five times the amount of content and experience than yeah. you had from watching a movie once yeah it's ridiculous it's it's absolutely insane so i mean i i, I guess you're comparing a game to a movie but it's same kind of thing that was very rough maths by the way before someone comes back Quick in maths. the future and it's like <laughs> that's not right it would be 37.4 i know i know i was just working it out roughly in my head okay calm down <laughs> the point still yeah, stands it's, it's, it's over it's, 30 times the amount it's not quite 40 times yeah it's fucking insane it's fucking insane but do we need the pipe again for this, maybe? We do, but I'm trying to cheat. <laughs> okay. I like uh, to find I mean, new I... creative ways to do it. This isn't cheating. This is just I can go back over and get the pipe, I think. Uh, I think we need... well, there's a pipe up there, look, on that. Yeah, Ooh, but here. can I not just get this pipe and then... No, 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 no. come here, because you'll be shutting the gas down. So I think we need that pipe up there. Oh, but the, what if the... one of us blocked the door with the big barrel? You know what? You've got a <laughs> just fairly good idea, actually. <laughs> Maybe, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Give it a go, give it a go. I feel like this isn't the way we're meant to do it, which is why I want to do it this way. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like that's interesting, because we can find new interesting creative ways to do it. It's a very Riddler thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> it's in character. I'm like, why do it the boring standard way, when we can break the sister? <laughs> Alright, well, I've, 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 I've got it blocking the door. Well, it, it's there to so stop. Oh, please don't, please don't, please don't. Oh, it's just pushed it away. Oh no. That's not going to work. I put work. the pipe back? Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say maybe hold on to the other side of it and see if that does it. Is it back yet? Yeah, it's back up. I'll... Like, maybe try and hold it in place? Okay, go for it. Let's see what happens. No, it's pushing me. It's just pushing me away. Okay. The developers knew this would happen. Well, it's, I, I would. you don't respawn with items, do you? Uh, no, I don't think so. I'll try anyway. Let's see what happens. No, it disappeared. I'm coming back! <laughs> oh, wait, are you on the other side of the door now? No, I'm, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. That's cool, I'm gonna... Kill yourself. <laughs> oh, shit, yeah, we need... Oh, fuck. <laughs> wait, throw the barrel over the end and then kill yourself. Oh, there you are. That's a good shout, actually. Wait, where does the barrel spawn from? I don't want it to drop on my head. <laughs> I have no idea. Um... <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay, oh. barrel, come with me. <laughs> Um, what else has been in the news? Oh, yeah, Rocksteady sort of confirmed the new Batman game, which is not actually a Batman game, it's a Suicide Squad game, which was kind of rumoured for a while. Um, we didn't talk about the, the the Arkham Arkham, did we? Arkham Arkham, no, no, that's apparently going to get revealed soon as well, there's two games. Is it really revealed. called Arkham Arkham? No, no, I think it's called like Gotham Knights or something. Oh, thank God. <laughs> what yeah. was that about? Was that like just a it meme? It was just a meme, I think it was just a okay. meme, yeah. <laughs> I, I only saw it posted from you and you didn't like describe it as a meme. I was like, is that, is that really the name? <laughs> is that really what they're doing? <laughs> uh, I've landed, but there's no I mean, barrel. Oh, I'll be there. honest, I wouldn't put it past companies these days. Yeah. 
Like it's Arkham, 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 Arkham. Arkham, Arkham, Arkham. You like those Arkham games, right? Pull my legs. Pull my legs. <laughs> we can do. Uh, <laughs> we we can't I, do it. I can't. No, just I got it, I got it down off there like this way before. Uh, I think it's gonna roll off the other edge. <laughs> no, I got it off this way. No, I mean it's starting to go too far the other way. That's what I mean. All oh, right, I think we need to push it down there anyway to get the pipe. Okay. But it. But what I've noticed is there's a big pit there, so we have to like properly roll it. So if I got on, if I jump over here, I might be able to catch it. Uh, I got it! I got it! I got it! Oh shit! Okay, no, I haven't got it. It's stuck. Oh shit! I'm it's jammed. <laughs> wait! 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 <laughs> no, get get off! Oh! Oh no! Okay! 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 I'll grab you! I'm gonna grab you! <laughs> okay. Okay. Ah, we're okay. going to fall. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. It's okay. Oh fuck. It's okay. Uh... <laughs> nice. The only um... way Batman always foils us. Yeah. God damn. Rogue gallery. <laughs> yeah, so Is this like a lever? Game, Does that but... do anything? Oh, I don't know. If there is well, a if lever. pull then... these bricks out from underneath. Will that like make it an angle? I have no idea. Oh, I have almost got it off here, so... But is that what we're meant to do, or can we, like, make it an we angle? Might be, well, to be fair, we might be able to push it off this way anyway. Um, okay. Because... There we are. Got, I sort of got it. Oh, ah, ah. Roll! Roll! It won't roll. Ah. It doesn't roll. For God's sake. Oh, this is torturous. Right. I'm stuck underneath now. There we go. So yeah, a Suicide Squad game. Uh, apparently, this is like something I read on Twitter. I don't know if this is like 100% true, but the rumor is you basically have to kill the Justice League in it. Like you, you fight Superman, Batman, the Flash, all that. You have to literally kill them. So it's like set in a totally different universe, apparently, to the Arkham games. Uh, a lot of people are saying it's Bizarro on the poster. I'm not yeah, I've seen that there. too. I've seen that too, which is interesting. So I wonder whether it's that kind of like, uh, did you did you play uh, DC Super Villains yet? Lego? Yeah, yeah, I have. I wonder if it's like that, like the evil Justice League. Yeah, oh yeah, the Syndicate. Yeah, uh, mm. it's, it's not going to work, it's just going to fall in the pit. Fuck it, right, <laughs> let's bring it over to the lift, and one of us can just jump over there, and one of us will hold it in place. Okay! <laughs> but yeah, it sounds cool, and it's rock steady, so hopefully you don't put a giant tank in it again, but... Um, yeah. I'm sure it'll be great. Can I just do it? Do we need the know. barrel? Can I just do this? Well, I'd, oh, maybe. If I could, like, jump onto it, maybe grab it Is off. Is it working? <laughs> it's teetering. Let me see if I can get onto, like, the... Wee. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to do that, actually. Wee. <laughs> yeah, I'm not too sure. Wee. <laughs> <laughs> Riddle oh, look me! Look at you go! Look at you go! <laughs> this... Batman... <laughs> ah! Is this like a representation of what Paul Dano is going to be like as the Riddler? Sounds like Michael Sarah Riddler. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Batman! I'm Morty! <laughs> I can't do puzzles anymore! Oh, shit. oh, there's a bird by my door. Go away, bird. <laughs> Thank you. Don't talk to D like that. I don't want her in my house! <laughs> She doesn't pay rent. Fuck her. Fuck him. <laughs> Fuck him. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's actually been that much of a news this week. Sam's going to Rome. Oh, yeah, That's I'm off to Rome right. next week. Yeah. <laughs> gonna COVID Rome. He's gonna hopefully not die and we'll yeah. do more podcasts in the future. I'll be fine. Everybody, send your prayers. One prayer equals one like and subscribe. Yes, thank you. I will bring lots of lovely holidays. Ah! Oh, masked okay. up I'll hold, try and stand <laughs> right I'll if I hold it and you maybe try and jump up the side okay okay yeah good shout I was gonna say jump on the gate that's good that's good call uh, I didn't get up <laughs> yeah uh, uh, I'm just going over <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've made a terrible mistake oh no oh no oh no it's rolling off it's rolling off there we are, there we are. Good. okay I'm, I'm just gonna climb a bit fuck it uh, Big old jump. Ha -ha. Oh, yeah, you can probably get up there. Oh, brilliant. Please save. Ha -ha. For God's sake, please save, because I won't be able to... Yeah, okay. Time to, time to die. <laughs> time to die. 
I've memed things. <laughs> you I didn't, I didn't reach the end. Help! <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I tried to jump for the platform and now I'm just down here. <laughs> oh, do we need the fucking gas pipe still? I don't want to do this oh, anymore. No. We've got to go back for the gas pipe. I don't want to play with you anymore. <laughs> this is hell. Do we actually? Yeah, I, I think we need to do something with this. Look, it goes back up here, but then I don't. You sure? I feel maybe we do. Yeah, because like the pipe's going over there. It looks like it opens that door. Excuse me. Ah. Okay, you did it. Never mind. Yeah, oh, we need works. to like. I think we need to get into this door, so I think we need the pipes to. God damn. Wait, can we not just move that over here and then you can get up there? Tench? Oh yeah, maybe. But I don't know what's up there. I'm gonna try I that. Got this level, to be honest. We. I didn't make it. Oh, I did. <laughs> oh, I didn't. Oh, I did actually. I can't... Oh, it looks like you don't, and then you bounce off that. <laughs> yeah. Great <laughs> bit. But yeah, good luck. Good luck in Rome, man. Thank I you. I believe. Yeah, Ryan. I'm sure it'll be fun. Over. To be fair, I mean. Mm. Well, we're not. We're gonna be savvy. Like apparently, Italy's like had the best recovery out of like all the really bad countries because they've just been like, yeah, we've got fucked. So let's all behave like normal people. Unlike us Brits. Ah. Who have just. <laughs> ah. Ah. You ever see Riddler use such a display of brute strength? I've not no. I feel like Music's I fucked up really every loud. other word in that sentence. <laughs> I'm in. My mouth just had a mild stroke. <laughs> Never <laughs> been Riddler you that. <laughs> what? <laughs> I riddle me this. Uh... <laughs> oh yeah, it's one of those windows. There's a grate outside of it. Not not that one. Oh. Probably one of these ones. Oh god, yeah. Unless this... you can get round from there, I don't know. No, if I'd you... have to swing, but I don't think I'm going to make it. I'll try. <laughs> Oh, no, no, that was get... terrible. There wasn't one here either. <laughs> oh, my butt was dancing as I was falling. I wish I was recording on my screen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing it on mine, sort of. <laughs> oh, well, at least you landed up there, you lucky bastard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to fall again. <laughs> so, let's get into the movies. You mentioned Jacob's Ladder. I guess we'll start with that since... So we did. Oh, no, I fell off again. Why do I keep falling off when I spawn? Fuck's sake. <laughs> Yes, well, last week, obviously, we watched 1990's Jacob Ladder. Yeah. So, decided to watch the... 20 oh, I fell off again. For fuck's sake, I hate this. One. Can you, like, help me not fall off? <laughs> I'll try. My character just bounces when he lands and then falls I'm... off the end. Ah. Uh. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> I caught it. I caught it this time. Uh. Oh, shit, it. I fell oh, down. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, time to, time to die again. I can't quite get up. <laughs> I I'm keep seeing a barrel fall with me. My head. Oh, <laughs> no, yeah, it happened to me. <laughs> no, it's happening to you. I don't want to do this. Have you ever heard the definition of insanity? <laughs> I don't want it, damn it. I don't want it. <laughs> okay, I got you. I got you. Oh, oh for fuck's sake. <laughs> so this is the rest of the party, guys. Oh, my legs are almost up. My legs are almost up. Go. Yes. Oh, for no! fuck's sake. <laughs> Tell me when you're about to fall, and I'll just grab the floor and hope it's you. Okay, well, I'm falling now. Uh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, oh fuck! Oh, you, <laughs> <can't>... <laughs> you know what, you uh, go on ahead. I'll just hold my hands out. Try and aim for my hands. Okay, I'm, I've got the grabbing motion on now. Please work, please work, please work. Oh, I did it, I did it. Yeah! yeah that worked. <laughs> Thank you. It looked really good from my screen. I should really start <laughs> recording, just in case there's some good moments. Um... Uh, Okay, so it has to be that middle window, but it looks really awkward to get through. You might be able to jump on my face. I don't know. No, yeah, it's going to be a difficult one. Excuse me, too. <laughs> jump on my faces, sorry. Hey, Riddler, sit on my face. <laughs> oh, you did it. Maybe. Not quite. Not quite. I could, like... like, you jump and try and push me through. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm just grabbing onto your leg now. That's not going to work. Um, one of my legs is just not... Oh, my peg leg. For some reason, one of my legs is just gone. Can you see it on your screen? Oh, yeah. I'm just standing on one leg. It's inside you. Uh. Oh, that might work. I don't yeah, know. I was thinking, but I don't think it will. Um, We're going to have to play this properly, aren't we? Is this not the proper way to do it? Well, we need that pipe. I think we need to like use all these pipes to get over somehow. I think we've cheated a bit. How would that get us through that? I don't know. Well, there's a door here, look. It needs to be opened. And I think... 
Because we haven't connected the pipes properly, I think we fucked it up, sort of. I'm gonna have a look and investigate. This is what we get for cheating. Ah. Anyway, yes, we watched Jacob's Ladder. <laughs> we did. And the remake, which was... I'll just ask your initial impressions of it, Shaq. I mean, we watched it together, but tell everyone I'm what you I'm thought on the great. I'm on the great. Oh, are you? Like Spider-Man down the wall. Oh, God, don't you're saving. Say. Okay, cool. I'm gonna... I'm gonna do a collapse. Sorry, a fall. Yeah, I just yeah. kind of, like, hung off the edge and then, like, one arm, other arm, one arm. <laughs> I've still got only one leg. I'm gonna see if I can get over there from where I am. That might actually be the last section, though. Do you think we're going that way, or do you think we're going that way? I think that's the door that maybe got us round. I don't know. Do you actually. think we skipped a whole section again? Yeah, possibly. <laughs> People are going to be like, "These guys don't even fucking play this game." <laughs> yeah, I think this. <laughs> I've just jumped over. I think this is the area that opens up. We've skipped like a whole chunk of the level again. Yeah. <laughs> that's a very riddle thing to do. Okay, yeah. fuck all you. Fuck all y'all. Fuck, fuck all y'all. Ah, oh, this isn't going to go well. I've only got uh, one leg, so I'm having I'm having trouble still. <laughs> uh. Yes. Oh, my uh, leg's back. That's good. I'll yeah, give anyway, it yeah. some credit. It made me appreciate a lot more in the original. Yeah. <laughs> um, don't get me wrong. I'm not going to change my rating. I'll go back on all the shit I said. I still don't think it aged very well. But I can appreciate the original for at least being very innovative in its time. And you can see where the effort went into making it surreal and interesting and actually trying to tell a story that has some artistic vision to it. Yeah. This movie doesn't have any of that. <laughs> yeah. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. It's it's basically a modern retelling, but it's not. They tried to do new things, but it just falls flat. Yeah, it's not even <laughs> a modern retelling, <laughs> See what it, is it? I said fall flat. <laughs> 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 Kill me. I didn't um, even pick up on it, but <laughs> <laughs> No, it's like it's a completely different story with a completely different ending and cast and main element yeah. to it. Uh, it just throws in a load of scenes and lines from the old movie without any context or like, without yeah. them fitting at all into what's happening. Yeah, it's fucking dumb. It's very strange. I'm trying to think of another movie that does this, but I, I can't. Like even. a remake? Like a, a movie that's a remake, but has nothing to do with it, but then also just uses loads of scenes from the original. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, Suspiria is definitely not that kind of thing. No, so I was thinking mm. like Ghostbusters 2016, but I was like, even that doesn't just reuse scenes from the original. Yeah. I mean, they do that big cringe Zool reference at the end, but it's not yeah. lying for lying, I suppose. Yeah, I don't know. Um... Yeah, because they're like, they do the bathtub scene that we talked about from the original Jacobs. Yeah. And then they do uh, the Doctor telling him the thing the chiropractor told him about uh, if you make peace then the demons are really angels which was supposed to be symbolic of the chiropractor being an angel in the original Yeah. and the fact that Jacob was actually already dead spoiler alert in this movie Jacob isn't already dead or at least it's heavily implied that he's not already dead I'm sure somebody can make the argument that oh no he is but I mean it, he's it not was literally, there was nothing to imply that the Jacob in this movie was dead at all it was it was. I, this is it. This is the problem. Like, it's fair enough doing your own remake and stuff, but the fact that it was trying to be so much like it, like with the whole quote about death, yet the film wasn't actually about death, was just a waste. Yeah. It didn't make any sense at all. It was just very. It was a very shallow movie. That's what I'm gonna call it. It's a shallow remake. Um. Good way to put it. Yeah. Oh, there's like a plank here. Do you think that's useful for something? Um. Oh, maybe it can get us across there. Wait, you're not, you found the main actor of Jacob's Ladder 2019? Ha ha ha! How insulting to this plank. <laughs> he was terrible. <laughs> he was really bad. Do you remember that review we watched after and the guy was like, oh, he was really good, he was really expressive. <laughs> Emotive, I think he even said. I was yeah. like, are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure about that? <laughs> <laughs> he definitely wasn't. He was horrible. The entire time we were like, can this guy do anything but frown? Yeah. And then they were like, oh, the other two acts weren't that great. I was like, what? They were m far better than Yeah, them. the closest the main guy comes to emoting is... Uh, I mean, we'll just go into straight into spoilers, because yeah. fuck it. You guys don't care. It's a shit movie. You guys don't, don't want you to watch it. this movie, yeah. and if you do want to watch this movie, 
don't. Yeah. <laughs> like, just watch a review. Watch this, yeah. honestly. Like, watch the original Jacob's Ladder. You're not missing out on like, anything. Yeah. yeah, we have a criticism I, I didn't of that, even but... li- like the original that much, but I'd say definitely watch the original over... Th- yeah, if you're gonna. I mean, obviously I'd say watch it over this, but the original I would recommend to watch just for the experience, to be like, oh, so that's where that idea came from, and that's where yeah. this aesthetic came from. It was... It inspired a lot of things. I still don't think it held up very well, but no, it's worth watching, I guess. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I wouldn't give it probably, away, it's due. Yeah, I wouldn't really ever probably rewatch it. Like I said last time, <laughs> like I'm glad I experienced it to say, oh, I know what people are talking about when they talk about that now. Yeah, but, no, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Don't watch this movie. No, it's, it was terrible. So I mean, anyway, spoilers. Um, his brother is in this movie, which there is no brother in the first movie. No, he was played by the guy from Detroit Become Human. Yes. The, the, I can't, I don't know what his name is. I mean, you'll, on the this start guy. of the revolution. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. Yeah, and he went missing in the war, apparently. Yeah. And then he just turns up in a subway for no reason. Yeah. Like, oh no, it's never really explained. They just say, oh, go down into the subway, your brother's there. And he goes down into the subway and his brother's there. Yeah. And at no point in the movie do they explain how he got there or... And he, like, my obvious thoughts were, oh, well, it's all in his head because he's already dead. But they kind of, like, disavow that. Yeah. So they just never really explain it. So it's just kind of a really unusual thing that his brother's alive, I guess. Yeah, that's weird. Ah! <laughs> I think uh, it has to make a bridge or something. But I think that's yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, if one of us stand on it, can the other like get further over? Or does Potentially, that not... yeah. Let me try and get it long ways. Um, yeah, it was really weird. <laughs> but the twist is that his brother wasn't missing. He was missing. Yeah. Oh, Actually. shit. shit I, got it. I got it. <laughs> I'm just going to let go so I don't pull it over the edge. <laughs> okay. Uh, but yeah, he was missing, which makes no sense because we watched the start of the movie from his perspective. Yeah. So like after that, I said to you, so wait, was the bit at the start before he found the brother, was that supposed to be the brother, but we were seeing him as Jacob? Yeah. Or was that meant to be in Jacob's head? It's never really explained. Like, is Jacob on a drug trip in the sewer and he's imagining his brother? Or did all of that actually happen, but we were seeing it as the actor that plays Jacob so that the director could have a twist? Like, I don't know. It, it's never explained, so it's it, very confusing. Oh, and it really definitely added. felt that way. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm losing grip. I'm losing grip. Oh, there we are. There we are. I got it. Yeah, I it was. A barrel to you, I thought if we can put a barrel on the end, that might do Essentially, it. Essentially, unless it rolls off and I can get it, like, standing. I'm just trying to, like... So the thing is, if I try to start, if I let go of it, it's going to fall, so we need someone to stop. I mean, I could hold it there, and you could maybe jump across. Yeah, you hold it you... there, and I'll see what I can do. Okay, let me try and get it a little bit closer. Give it, Give it a go now, and then... If I need to, oh no, I'm falling! Oh, oh, you did oh, it! Oh, I didn't oh. quite make it. I okay, don't... well, we know we need to have it a little bit more close. Oh, now. look how close I am! Though I'm on like a, an incline. Damn it! Uh, oh wait, 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 wait! I actually just climbed. Oh shit! I didn't I know that see. was oh. possible. Oh my, oh my god. god! I learned a new mechanic. <laughs> yeah! You broke the game. Do you remember, like, the first episode we did this where I said, I'm just trying to work out if you can lift one hand above the other and climb. And we worked out that it was impossible, and you were like, yeah, you can't do it. Well, I just just fucking did it! (laughs) Take that human fall flat! I just (laughs) human climbed. (laughs) (laughs) This game means nothing to me! (laughs) I am the game! I am the Riddler! (laughs) (laughs) Uh, That was fun. I don't think I'll ever be able to do it again, but I hope you saw it on your screen. I, I saw a bit of it, yeah. Yeah, it was really weird, because I was like, if I lift my hand, I'll just fall. And I didn't. <laughs> it, I actually climbed. I did something. Modern it's problems like, require modern yeah. solutions. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so the only time that this actor kind of emotes is after that reveal, where he's now playing the unhinged brother for some reason, even though he wasn't at the start. Yeah. But he still does a worse job of it than the other actor who'd been playing the uh, the unhinged brother up until this point. Yeah. It was so, fucking weird. Yeah. The other actor's pretty good. It's a shame he's in this movie. 
Yeah, even the actress who plays the wife was pretty decent. I mean, yeah, I'd seen was... her before in Sleepy Hollow, the TV show, which I haven't watched all of, but I watched a little bit of with my parents back in the day when it first came out. And yeah. It was okay. It was one of those cheesy. Uh, I think is it CW? It's something like that. You something know what I mean? it'll be CW, I imagine. I think it was because yeah. like it had like it reminded me tonally of like early Supernatural back when Supernatural was like cheesy but was still kind of fun. Yeah. Before it just became like really cheesy, <laughs> like. Uh, like Supergirl kind of cringe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The earlier CW stuff I thought was alright in like a, a tongue in cheek kind of way. Basically the same thing I say about Gotham but different. Because obviously Gotham I think is actually a good show. Yeah. But um, Gotham has the same Shit. vibe of being like oh well it's a little bit cheesy and it's a bit tongue in cheek and it's a bit over the top superhero y but it's okay because. You know, that's what it is. Was it Gotham Fo- Fo- Fox? Fox? Was it, it was, Fox? yeah. Yeah. FX, I believe. Yeah, that's right, yeah. But I, that's what I meant. It's, it hasn't got those CW vibes, but it has the same thing I'd describe the earlier CW as, yeah. which is where it's, like, cheesy, but in a way that's... F- like old Doctor Who, you know? like the Yeah, yeah. Christopher Eccleston, David Tennant era Doctor Who, where yeah. you're like, Haha, that monster looks silly and this plot's a little bit silly, but bit I like campy, the acting. But and, campy, but you know, yeah, it's well written and stuff. The, the entertainment comes from the fact it's campy, and obviously with Gotham, I'm like, well, it's a comic book show, so it's allowed to be a bit campy, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, I get what we're doing. So we put yeah. the other curve on there. Well, I've yeah. yeah, we've got that big one now, so I guess yeah, we connect it. That curved one, I'll that, have to go. Yeah, to that's right, yeah. yeah. Boink. Okay. If we put this one in first, does it matter? Or do they just slit in easy? I guess it goes in the middle one. Yeah, I'm trying to rotate it. It's really hard. <laughs> so, uh, that bit wants to be on that side, right? Yeah. Uh, I think this needs to be turned around. Oh, God. Yeah. You take your end the other way. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the way. That's the way. <laughs> and then we just drop it in here. <laughs> yeah. Kinda. Wait, is that right? No, I think this because that's already a big. Oh no, maybe it's not actually. Oh yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, where's the curvy this one? One on there. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Close enough. Um, like I do the thinking, not the physical bit. That's the bit <laughs> I don't. <laughs> yeah. Is that in properly? Because it's not doing anything. Uh, do we? Have oh, there to, we like... are. Oh, oh shit, it's broken. Yeah. Do we just there get we on? Go. It? There ah! we go. Ah! So I'm coming, I'm coming. Ah! Oh, do we have to get into the... Oh, God, it broke. Oh, God. Holy shit. <laughs> I was on that wall that it just broke through. That was amazing. Where did you go? I'm here, behind you. Oh, okay. uh, is this the end? Oh, yeah, yeah, I think it is. Oh, maybe not. No. Oh, it is, yeah. 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 I sure do love skipping through huge parts of levels. We're on the final final level now. This is it. This is the end. I guess we should take our time because we have another movie to talk about. Yeah. We can always fuck around in custom games, I guess. Yeah, exactly. Anyhow. Um, yeah, so... Um, yeah, so... The actress from Sleepy <laughs> Hollow, yeah. She was... I just love that we had a big long period of like trying to think of anything good to say about Jacob's Ladder. Yeah, so... So... Yeah. The, yeah. Uh, we, um, we talk about how, how fucking horrible it looks visually. Why did like, that ice do for you, but this one won't? <laughs> Is it not? Oh, yeah. Why am I so weak? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I wonder if it's part of the Riddler skin is you just have no strength. <laughs> because I have all the strengths. I'm two people. Well, not really, but <laughs> mentally I'm two people. And that makes you stronger. Yeah, somehow. People with bipolar and schizophrenia are fucking tanks. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. It looked horrible, this movie. It genuinely was one of the worst-looking films I've, I've seen. Because Sorry. Hello, it, can I introduce you into... Can I... Uh, what's the, what's the, the meme? Interest. <laughs> Hello, can I interest you in some blue? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Basically, it's, it's entire... <laughs> it was just blue. Like, it was really fucking blue. And what? it wasn't even like... You everything to be blue? What, it works for Jack... For Jack... For Zack Snyder. Yeah. This movie was made by Jack Snyder now. That's <laughs> you part of our s- Jack Snyder. <laughs> Jack Snyder's ladder. Can we get it through there? Uh, I tried. Uh, the, the problem with it was, was that it just seemed like it was... You couldn't see a thing. 
because it was a very dark blue. There, but there was no like lighting to light up the blue. Oh so... god, I just went through the ground. Ah! Nice. I guess that's oh, a bit the map went meant to go to. Saving. Do you remember like when I cuz we were watching on a laptop in your garden and I kept having to like peer my head over to get... see it a bit clearlier because I just could clearlier is that a word? I don't know. It is now. Um Are you? <laughs> I'm like at the new bit. I managed to climb up on top of the ice cube. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, I just couldn't see a fucking th a fucking thing. Like yeah, it was it was a horribly dark movie and it just had this horrible blue tint yeah. to everything. It like you was just not put, pretty. Like an Instagram blue filter. Over yeah. Everything. But it was so fucking dark. And it didn't Yay. make any sense. Like we we talked about it. It's, did you get over? Okay. I did. Yeah. We talked about it where we were like. You know, like, if they'd used the blue to um, to, um, uh, to indicate things that are, like, surreal. Like, when he's seeing things that shouldn't be there and monsters and, you know, yeah. old ladies with demon faces and shit. That would at least be worth something. Because hmm. you'd be like, oh, the screen's getting blue. Something creepy is going to happen. But it wasn't that at all. Like, everything was blue. The novels yeah. was blue. The scenes with demons in them were blue. And they weren't really demons either. He was just on drugs. Yeah. I mean, the good thing is, like, with Blade Runner, um, that uses blue a lot. Yet it actually, you can actually fucking see it. And it was used in a more constructive way, I feel. Yeah, but and... the blue in Blade Runner is kind of used to base around the world, isn't it? Oh, it is. That's what I'm saying. I'm complimenting The blue it. in this isn't, good. because yeah. it's, it's outworld. It's a normal... What, like, he's in, like, daytime New York, or wherever the fuck this movie's set. Like, a, an American city yeah. in the modern day. And everything's blue. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's not like in Blade Runner, it's like, oh, because it's cyberpunk and like, it's it's kind of like that's the aesthetic of, you know, the after effects of all the neon lights and everything is how I always took it in Blade yeah. Runner. It's like the pollution and all the other stuff makes everything have this darker tint to it and look kind of futuristic and weird. Whereas this was just like, haha, it's blue. Get it? <laughs> I was like, no, I don't. He's yeah, like, but it, there was, but there it's was blue. <laughs> I couldn't. I get uh, yeah. There's nothing. Uh, by the way, I might be, we might also do a hack thing where I hold this as a bridge again and you jump over there. I drowned. <laughs> Good. 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 <laughs> now I will rule Gotham. <laughs> oh shit! Now it's fall. I'm falling. Oh come on, come on. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Da 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 Jump. Yay. Why are there caution signs everywhere? What's going to happen? Is a rock going to fall on me? I I totally just fell. I didn't reach. 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 I didn't. Oh, everything's blue down here. Just like just like Jacob's ladder. Just like Jacob's ladder. 2019. Just reminded me of the Nine Inch Nails song as well in the Downward Spiral. He's like, everything's blue in this world. A sapphire shade of blue. Like, yep. In that yeah. movie, it's about a guy killing himself in uh, the the concept of the the downward spiral album. So even in that line in that song, it makes more sense that yeah. everything's blue than Jacob's letter. Do you? I would rather the... listen to the downward spiral story than watch this terrible, terrible movie with no points to tell. I'd, I'd rather die than watch this movie. To be honest, again. Oh, it was just boring. It, yeah, wasn't it even was... like funny boring? Like we couldn't laugh at it being bad. It was just bland. I think like there's. Do you remember that bit where like the ghost guy? I said I'd guy... probably rate it above Lion King. That's it's the second worst movie I think we've watched on the channel. Yeah. You. Yep. Um, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's like it's one of those movies that that chain looks like we need some. I don't know. Should we try and grab onto like both things at the same time? Uh, so what happens? I missed again. <laughs> oh no, we don't actually need the chain. I'm coming again, Margaret. There, boom. Yeah, I think like. Do you remember the bit where he's in the train station and that army guy's like, you got to find your brother, man. And then he, there's some random old woman ghost thing comes and like pushes him into the train. And then the guy just does not emote at all. He's just like, oh. Yeah, well, it's like, weird because it's a it normal head, old lady like, to begin with. Like, it doesn't look like a ghost thing to everybody else. Yeah. Or even to him at that point. It's not until later when he gets closer and he's like, oh, it's a weird ghost lady. At that point, he's just like, oh, there's a harmless old lady. And then she pushes a dude in front of a train. Yeah, and nobody reacts, which makes sense later if you're like, oh, well, he was on drugs and it's all in his head. Mm. Cool, cool, sure. Uh, why doesn't he react? 
<laughs> yeah, that's like, the question. Even if it was in his head, he wouldn't know what's real or isn't. So he he would he would be like <gasps> either way. He just instead he just kind of stands there and was like, oh, it's like it. it the meme I thought of is it's like a less emotive version of uh, oh a hat I want it. <laughs> Let me put it on you. Riddle me. Then. <laughs> close enough. Close enough. Close enough. Uh, it's like a less emotive version of uh, Willem Dafoe's O oh, at the end of Spider Man. Yeah. That's how this guy reacts to watching someone go. He just goes, oh. Yeah. He doesn't. That's the thing. And, and like then the that... next scene, he's talking to the police and going. He was real. She got pushed in front of a train. Ah. And I'm like, why are you that worked up about it now, but you weren't worked up at all when it happened? Yeah. Do we put the ice on it? Yeah, potentially. That's not about it. Oh, one of them could stand on it and one of yours goes onto it. But oh, there we are. Yeah, that could work. Do we need, like, this to... Oh, I think we need... I guess we I need the we other need... block of ice to get up. I was going to say, I don't think we do. I think, right, if one of us jumps on the planks, we just like, coordinate the other person... So, like, if you jump on that and stay on it... Aren't we the same weight, though? Didn't we work that out in the Aztec level? Don't we need extra weight? Wait, hold on. Get off it for a second. Oh, yeah, you might be right, actually. Good yeah. shout. Yeah. So just push the ice on it. Yeah. Why is the ice gone? Why did the ice slide back over here? So I think What's I need like... to jump on it, like... Did you restart the checkpoint? I uh, don't think so. Did you notice the ice all move? Oh, it's melting. That's why. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, yeah, look. it's It's in the sunlight. It just shrinks and melts. Oh. Huh. What do you know? Well, I guess we have to do it really quick. So if uh, you jump on it now, go jump on... Oh, this yeah. One. No, on your end. The other end, sorry. <laughs> your yeah, end. I'll need to push the ice over there to climb yeah. up. That's the thing. Uh, let me take it round the, the shady way. See if that... Oh, Fuck I need to jump snowman. on it, though. Oh, because that's snow. there. <laughs> Fuck off, snowman! Fuck off, snowman! <laughs> I'm in the sun, I'm in the sun, I'm in the sun, I'm in the sun, it's drinking, it's drinking, it's drinking! Okay, 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 we're good. Now I can jump on it, and then, oh fuck, no, that's not gonna work. Unless you can get up to, to that other platform there, look, and I can. Oh, uh, wait, 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 I'm up, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. Uh, there we are. Yay! So then, I think, yeah, that should be it, okay, that should be fine. So if I get over here, will it save? Mm. Let's save. There we are. What a delicious noise. <laughs> oh, dude, we're going snowboarding. Wait for me. Wait, do I have to get up there? Uh, I've saved, so you should be able to drop down and... Harukari! Bruh. Oh, no, it's slipping down. Okay. Oh, no. Now! Okay. Um, fuck. I'm going. <laughs> Cowabunga! I can't get my feet in it. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> falling forward. Ah, there's a tree! Fuck it, I'm just gonna go down like. There. I'm just gonna bodyboard it. Oh, wait! Oh, no! <laughs> I'm coming down! I don't know how to unclip my feet. Oh, this is going terrible. Oh, God. Oh, I don't know how to unclip my feet. <laughs> ah, I totally missed that. <laughs> how do I get out? <laughs> how do I get out? <laughs> there we go. Oh. Okay. So I guess we corkscrew this? Yeah. How the fuck do we do that? I remember this bit qu being quite infuriating when I played it last time. Are we even going the right way? Is it that way? I don't know. I'll see if I can get us a head start. What if I can, like, grab it here? Yeah. Okay. Oh! Yeah. You go up. Climb up it. Okay. Um. Fuck. Uh. Let me get my hand where I can also climb up. And what I'll do is I'll get us a start. All right. Is it moving at all? No. No, I don't think my feet are quite touching the ground. Fuck's sake. Um, Alright. Okay, 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 okay. A little bit more. Oh, no. I missed it totally. Unless I try and climb. Just just drop back onto this. Okay. I'll do it further this time. I thought we had to go all the way up, so that's actually not too bad. There you go. Here we are. Cool. 
So I could drop a box down for you. I don't know. If, oh no, it's saved. So you oh. can probably. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I'm it was. Sudoku. I don't know what else to say about it. Really, the dialogue was really bad. There was just some scenes where we were just laughing at the dialogue. Yeah, I said the dialogue didn't hold up for me in the original, as I said last time, but this w didn't have any excuse. The original dialogue, I think, just aged badly. Uh, I don't know, I'm still I'm still a bit touch and go on that one, because like I said, Alien, I don't think, has really outdated dialogue. Yeah. So it's a bit of an unusual one. I don't really know. Oh yeah, stay there, and I'll just climb yeah. up these, I guess. Um... Yeah, I don't really know, but this one just had bad dialogue, and it was a 2019 movie, so it had no excuse to. And the dialogue exactly. was probably worse than the original. I don't know. How'd you get in? The window. I couldn't find my key. Stop! You violated the law. I wasn't I invested. Think it was. in we were, we were they laughing. tried to make us invested in this thing about the brother and the wife. Yeah. But it was like left until a last minute twist, which means that you had no time to care about it. And it's never explained as if the baby, the baby in the family, is real or not. Remember that? Yeah, really well, there's a weird. crib. Yeah. And he's moving the crib and he's like sobbing and knocking the crib. And I was like, well, the baby's not in the crib because if it was, it'd be like crying to fuck. And the mum would be like, whoa, can you stop shoving the crib across the room with your forehead? Yeah. But nobody says that. So I'm like, oh, well, the baby's not in the crib. So then I was like, so does that mean the baby's dead or the baby never existed? But if it never existed, why is there a crib? I don't fucking know what any of this is about. Yeah. And like, it was just very poorly communicated about their relationship because at, at the start you think it was his brother used to date his wife. It's not that, but like, it's never, it's just not really poorly, it's just not I mean, it is well. that, but he's yeah. the brother. Yeah, it's, but it, we were like, oh, are they going to bring this up again? And then they do, but it just, by that point it just feels really late and it's uninvesting. Like, it's just it ridiculous. I also said that this movie starts like it feels like it's halfway through the film. Like, the pacing is terrible. It's just, it's not paced well at all. It's horrendous. Yeah, yeah lower... Oh, can you get on the other side and lower it a bit? Uh, and then I'll drop this crate on it? Well, if, you okay, wanna, if I'll jump on it, yeah, and then... Okay. Oh, shit. Cool. And then I'll try and get up this side. Oops. Missed it. <laughs> uh, hi... Let's talk about the terrible ending, I guess. I don't really want to spend too much more time yeah. talking about Oh, the wait, we forgot one really big thing, by the way. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. Hey. Hey. <laughs> there's just... You're okay. Yeah, there's a doctor character in it who, who just... Who thinks... Who basically just says you're okay. And they say, it's okay, it's okay, all the way throughout the films if it's like... It's okay. yeah, well, the, the first scene with him is a guy having a freak out in, in the hospital. Yeah. And he just, hey, look at me. You're okay. <laughs> and then he just smiles and leaves, and it's like, oh, yeah. I think one of us has to get on that one, I guess, to lift it up. I'll um, do that. I can do you it. Stay there. Okay. Uh... Oh, shit. Oh, wait, I can just jump up on the box, yeah. Yeah, it was fucking silly. Um, but that Doctor character kind of comes into the ending, because he's basically making this drug that stops PTSD, but it's actually just... It's, it's not... <laughs> um... Yeah, but it's, it's all really stupid, because it's like... It's implied that he actually is trying to help them, not that he's, like, sabotaging them on purpose. Yeah. Like, a side effect of his drug seems to be that some people are, like, it's having safe, negative effects by the way, so you can drop down. Yeah, I already am. Yeah, all right, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's just taken a while. <laughs> there we go. Um, yeah, so I don't know. Like, then they play him off as, like, a big villain, and I'm like, well, he's not. He just fucked up. Like, yeah. It's odd. Yeah, it was very strange. It's... It's like in the last two seconds, you just give him a gun. He's like, I think you need this one for the next one. Oh, yeah, maybe. Uh, I'll, I'll give it a go. I'll see you. I'll try and jump. Oh, no, oh. I made it. Okay. I don't know what we need them for, actually, because we can get to that. Like Nothing. Were they, were just, were they just pointless? Did they break this remember. ice? Break this ice? Yeah, maybe, actually. Maybe we're supposed to, like, uh, <laughs> we're supposed to grund them. Grond. Remember Grond? Grond. The battering ram from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> I do, yeah. That was the That's big grond. meme lately for some reason. I've seen that, yeah. I've seen those like meme groups like crossover. Yeah. <laughs> we need to Grond post that uh, wooden post. If you grab it this... like... Wait, hold on. There we are. Through this ice. I'm coming. I'm not. <laughs> I'll respawn. <laughs> ah. There we are. Yeah, it... 
I don't okay, know. you get that end, and I'll like try and shove it. Wait, I got go it. take it. Yeah. Ah. So the ending. I'm coming. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, they play the doctor off as a big bad for some reason. But it's weird because the acting is really weirdly unconvincing. Firstly, he switches his accent like 12 times, which is the yeah. one bit we really laughed at. American, British, Australian. This guy was the only thing in the movie that was funny because he was the it's okay guy. Yeah. And then he's also the one that switches from American to Australian to British in this big dialogue. Where he's like, you don't understand what I'm doing, mate, is trying to make this thing for you. It's like, <laughs> wait, what the fuck's going on there? And then all of a sudden, after, like, he's being really sympathetic, isn't he? He's like, oh, you don't know? I'm, I'm just trying to help him, man. You brought your brother? Oh, man. Hey, I'm trying <laughs> to help these guys. And, like, he sounds really sympathetic. And then all of a sudden, the brother's like, oh, I'm going to call the police. And he's like, no, cops. Ah! And then he holds yeah. up a gun and, like, twiddles his evil villain mustache. And I'm like, whoa, that went, like, one to fucking a thousand. It was insane. Nothing. Yeah. It made no sense. Like, just no cinematic sense at all like in terms of scripting it was just so sudden and and then just put the film in perspective <laughs> jacob yeah. jumps in front of his brother and takes the bullet for him and then he jumps runs at the doctor and jumps out the window with him and they both fall down the, to the floor and die yeah and then it switches to the old lady that he's been seeing pushing him on a on a cart so i guess she was like death yeah. But then the light flashes, and now she looks like a normal old lady, but she doesn't. She actually looks like Gary Busey in an old lady makeup. And then she, looks like, it... she looks like... looks like What she looks like is Gary Busey in Mrs. Doubtfire makeup. <laughs> That's yeah. what she looks like. So it's even more horrifying than when she was a demon. And it uh, just Then like... she pushes him into a field of flowers, which has no symbolism at all. Oh, I knocked plunk wood. Oh, maybe uh, we need them, yeah. And do you uh, remember, like, it just snaps, doesn't it? Like... It just snaps to the credits, but doesn't. There's no fade. It just goes eh. like it's just a really, really bad cut. Yeah, well, there's supposed like, to be really fuck? cringe pop music on it, but the version we had, just... uh, the pop music had been <laughs> edited out for copyright reasons. Yeah, because it's on YouTube. You can literally watch the whole film on YouTube. Yeah. So, uh, I used my hat to knock him over. We're trying yeah. to use this as like a bridge. Oh no, they all rolled off the edge. Okay. Oh, oh no. Oh, they're coming. So they're coming back. They're coming back. That's good. Okay, I'm gonna put the other one there as well. What do you think we use them for? I think we need them to smash open the... Maybe we don't use the branches to do that. Maybe we need to use the rock. So if I maybe make a bridge here, look. I'll try and get the other one on. Oh, please don't roll off. Hold on. Hold on. I can maybe get the other end. Ah, you get it? Yeah. Yay. Oh, we need to join yeah. them up a little bit. but. Uh, I'll push it a bit on your end. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's fallen. I'm going to just go for it. <laughs> no, oh, shit. No, Sorry. No, that was really bad timing. That was really bad timing. Because I... <laughs> I caught it just as you said that, and I was like, oh, no. There we are. It's I, Every time we play Human Fall Flat, it's always just Sam murders me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to walk over. Uh, so, yeah, see if you can do it. See if you can do it without falling. Uh, we need to, like, if you can push, like, one of those closer to it, you might be able to have a better time, I don't know. What other. I'm going to try and do... Is hold. Make sure this doesn't go further your way. Okay. Yeah. There we go. And then I'm going to put a rock on the side of it, and hopefully that'll stop it from moving. I can hold them. No, but it'll move on this side. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, true. The gap there, see. So if that gap has a rock in it, it shouldn't move. Modern problems require modern solutions. See, the Riddler skin's really useful. It's just making me actually think for once. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, yeah, there we are. Bonk. Smashy smash. Bonk. Oh, is it not smashing? Uh, bonk. <laughs> Why can't we get through? I'm just going to run straight at it. Bonk. It's I making can hear noises. Cracky noises. Yeah, yeah, same. Oh, there we are. <laughs> I guess it just needed a few. Bonk. Oh, I remember this puzzle. It's quite a fun one. It looks like. I, I can't remember what to do. We need to, like, melt something. We need to... There's a key in here or something. Oh, there's a switch in here to open the door, so we need to, like, melt it. Mm, so we need what... light or fire. Yeah, we need to, like... I can't remember. Anyhow. Oh, fire will do, right? Is there anything oh, you else can't pick any of these up. you would like Well, I guess we'll just say. talk about the meta now. We've talked about the movie, so... Uh, yeah, there's zero symbolism in this film. Mm -hmm. For some reason. Uh, there's no indication that he's actually dead at the end. 
I'm going to yeah. need you to pull it closer to that middle bit. Okay, yeah, good show. And then I'll jump for it. Uh, a bit closer, if we can. Uh, a bit close. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, nope, not Shit. quite. It's okay, I can climb up this one. <laughs> uh, we can probably use it to get up that other side too, right? Yeah, probably. There's a big plank here. I'll hold okay. it steady. Uh, uh, I got Yay. it. Uh. Uh, so now there's sunlight, so I guess we can just move the ice in front of the sunlight? Potentially. Does it push? Um, I don't know. No. <laughs> I feel like we need... Oh, wait, there's an ice block up there. We need to get up there, look. Yeah, push this over. Oh. Yeah, let me just move the plank. It's going to get in the way. No, I'm on the plank now. God damn it. Um, That's cool. We'll go around. We'll go around. There we are. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, yeah, so I don't really understand what the message of the movie was, other than if you're suffering from PTSD, don't take experimental drugs from doctors in random hospitals that tell you you're okay. Yeah. That's about the only takeaway from this movie you could have. Basically. Uh, don't hallucinate that your brother, that you are your brother, and try and bang your brother's wife, who used to be your girlfriend but isn't anymore. But also, I don't know whether any of that happened because maybe it was just a brother the whole time because it doesn't make sense if it actually was him because why was the wife treating him as though it was him? It was probably the brother, but maybe it wasn't. I don't know. The movie doesn't make any fucking sense or explain anything to us, so... And stop remaking movies. Just stop so, remaking movies. Yeah. Basically, if you want to make a horror movie, just try and make a horror movie and stop with all this bullshit. <laughs> yeah. A dreadful experience. So, yeah, I think this was worse than The Turning. or the Was it The Turning? Is that what it was called? It was The Turning, yeah. yeah. And that's saying something, because The Turning was garbage. Yeah. Get cool. Off. Well. Okay. What do we let's use this talk. for? Ooh, oh, fire. Uh, we need to, yeah, we need to burn that, yeah. Uh, cool. So, yeah, what would you rate this movie out of the tens? Probably a one or two out of ten. Probably a half star, yeah. Yeah. I don't think there's anything redeeming about it other than like the Detroit Become Humans performance in places. He was probably the only good thing about it. Yes, yeah, so I then, would give it a yeah. one. Yeah. Which I think is what I gave Lion King. Yeah, same. Oh, Don't it's watch. the cable car bit. It's the cable car bit. Uh, you can. I think it's an achievement to ride it all the way around, by the way. So. I, I might be wrong there. But. I'm on. Do we need something else to put on here? Is there something else to put on here? Oh, yeah, there's ice. There's ice? Oh, we have to move the shade, though, right? Um, Because the ice will just melt. Oh, that's... I like that. I like that. Okay, let's give it a go. I'll, I'll pull it, and then you can maybe... How do we move thing. the shade? There's, oh, yeah, I don't know. That's the question. Unless one of us, like... Oh, wait, I got it. I got it. Look. Let me go. Yeah, but the button itself is in sunlight. That's what I mean. Oh, right, yeah. So Good even shot. if we get it all the way to the button, it's going to melt on the button? There must be oh, some way to move this one. But I don't know how. Hmm. Yeah. That's Unless um, the point is that the ice is only meant to last for a certain amount of time. And we've got to jump on it as quick as possible. I'll just grab it and you stand on it and then you grab it and I'll stand on it. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. I imagine the point is that the ice lasts for just long enough for you to make it. Yeah. And you're meant to keep the ice as healthy as you can so that when you put it on the button, it'll last. Yeah. But Unless we've totally missed something. Fuck that, we'll just do this, because I yeah. want the achievement, and I assume you do too. Me too. <laughs> we. Anyway. I, like I could have sat in it, but I'm just holding on. We've saved it anyway, so if we need I to... I hope you still get the can. achievement for just holding on. <laughs> you, you, uh, yeah, I think so. I could... I don't know. I think it's like... I think it's like to do it all the way around. We'll find out. Yeah. Yeah. So, let's talk about because um, we said last week we we're doing like nostalgia movies where one of us will say, "Oh, I really like this movie. You should watch it." And we look at it up nostalgia and all that, blah blah blah. This week was my turn to it's my turn to choose the movie, um, and I picked the Royal Tenenbaums by Wes Anderson. I'm gonna stay sat in it to see if anything pops for one month. <laughs> okay. Yes, the Tenenbaum obs. Tenenboobs. What did you think of the Royal Tenenboobs? It was a very interesting and charming movie. Yes. 
I have some things I didn't particularly like about it, but they're much more subjective than objective. It was an objectively good movie. Yeah. Subjectively, uh, I'm never, I'm not that big on the tone. I've said this about some other Wes Anderson movies, like the whole uh, 60s, 70s nostalgia vibe thing isn't one. Oh, I fell off. <laughs> I just saw that. It was beautiful. Um, yeah, it isn't, it isn't like my favorite uh, thing, but I'm, 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 I'm chill with it. Like, I feel like some of it's a little bit over the top done here, but not nothing too offensive. Yeah, I feel like with Wes Anderson, is once you've seen one of his movies, you've kind of seen them all in terms of style. Well, um, that's the thing is, I've, I, I went to look and I've seen four of his movies outside of this one. And I've seen Rushmore, Life Aquatic, uh, a little. I haven't seen all of Fantastic Mr. Fox, but I've seen most of it on a plane. And I've seen Isle of Dogs. I think Isle of Dogs is a little bit totally different. Yeah. Uh, Life Aquatic has some similarities, but I would say that not the aesthetic tone, but the actual comedic tone felt different to me in Life Aquatic. Yeah. And I would probably say the same for Rushmore. Rushmore kind of has its own comedy thing going on. Yeah, it does. Rushmore and Bottle Rocket, which are his like, first two movies, don't really have that style. Mm. Um, I, I do really like Rushmore for what it is, for what that's worth. Yeah. I thought it was quite a good laugh back in the day. It's been a while since I've seen it, so I have to rewatch it sometime. But uh, out of those, uh, I think I probably enjoyed Life Aquatic most. Mm. Oh, by the way, I've just realised there is an instrument on here. I don't know where I was getting that from. It must be Life Aquatic's else. a weird one, but I think it was just made for me by Willem Dafoe. <laughs> yeah, he's great. He's great. <laughs> I think it's just fantastic to just watch Willem Dafoe do his thing. Yeah, there's no achievement on here. It was my fault, so I'm going to waste our time. Does one so of us not have to be down there to bring this dynamite down? Uh, it's saved, so... Oh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. I haven't seen it. I'm, I'm drowning, so I'm going to approach it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But how do we get back down there? <laughs> oh, damn. Uh, probably one oh, we can jump over to where that box is on the other side. Yeah. What does this do? Yeah, um, fantastic Mr. Oh, oh, I blew up this statue. Wow. Um, it's coming for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool. Fantastic Mr. Fox is my favourite, one of my favourite movies of all time. I'll have um, to watch it properly, obviously. I, I don't... Yeah. It was like half asleep on a 16-hour flight, so mm. uh, I'm not the best judge of it. Uh, again, some of Mr. Fox, I didn't like the aesthetic that much. I think it's visually stunning, what he's yeah. done. <laughs> I just mean, like, the aesthetic choice isn't my vibe, personally. Yeah. But objectively, it's obviously really good. It's the same as what I said about it. There's a lot of shots in this that I really liked. I mean, the mm. cinematography is fantastic, obviously. It's Wes Anderson. His style's very Marmite. I think that's a good way of describing it. Mm, but I don't dislike all of his style. That's what I mean. Yeah. It's, it's almost like there's just some bits where he leans on it a little bit too much, where it feels almost like going like, hey, guys, guys, this, this, guys. You get it? Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, I know. You've been doing it for the whole movie. You don't have to... I felt like that with the tone. That was one of the things I mentioned is like... I feel like this movie struggles a bit in the first half to find its tone. Yeah. Like, the narration bits, to me, are the weakest part of the movie. It's uh, Alec Baldwin, isn't it? Mm, the narration mm. bit just makes me think of that Family Guy meme. You know, the uh, Peter getting fired in a Wes Anderson movie? Oh, yeah, yeah. And it's, it's really narrated good, yeah. by Stewie, and he's like, My father lost his job in the port of yeah. factory. We went back to our house, which is a boat inside a lighthouse, inside an old airplane. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, that's what all the... I couldn't get past that on the narration. It's just all I could think of while I was watching yeah. the start. And like, I wrote the one line down where it's uh, about uh, Luke... Uh, Luke Wilson? Luke Wilson's character. I forgot the name of the character in the movie. I totally forgot as well. He, he's coming back to... Uh, I, the homeland, I guess. I assume it's England. Richie. Is it Richie? <laughs> I think it's Richie. Uh, and the boat's dropping him off, and the narration's talking about how the boat's dropping him off. Yeah. And then it's like, he arrived here at so-and-so, so-and-so hours. Da -da 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 -da. His trunks would not arrive for another 11 days. And I was like, huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it just, like, sat there for a second. Like, there's a big pause in the narration. Like, I'm meant to be laughing. And I was like, ah. Oh. Hmm. I was like, I, I just felt like you were trying too hard to be quirky. I don't know. It was it was an odd one. There's a lot of jokes in this I wrote down that reminded me of Airplane jokes. Like yeah. jokes from the movie Airplane. But this movie isn't totally like Airplane. So some of them work and some of them feel really strange. Like all the stuff at the start about... Um, I, I'm not going to remember any of the characters' names. So. <laughs> Eli, Richie, you've got Royal. Um... What's Ben Stiller's character? It's like I fucking forgot. Cash or something like that. Yeah, you got Marga, Gwyneth Paltrow's character. 
Yeah, it's Ben Stiller's character that I can't remember, and that's the one I'm I trying think to think it's Ash. I mean, have a quick it's not Ash, but it's something that ends with Ash, I think. <laughs> Gash. Uh, Chaz. 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 It's close. Yeah, close. you got Ethelene. Yeah. It's Ch- the bit at the start about Chaz's wife dying. Yeah. And they play the whole thing off as like a super, high risk, super hyper-realistic, quirky airplane joke. And I'm like, okay, but it also feels like you want me to care about his wife dying. I was like, you kind of need to pick one. A bit of humour, yeah. And they fix it later because there are some scenes about him and his, the wife and him moving past it that I was actually like, oh, that's actually like hit me. I, I feel that now. It's nice. Like, that's what I put in, in brackets is that it does get better. Yeah. But it feels strange that they start with making such a joke out of it. And I'm yeah, like, yeah. I know you want me to care about this later in the movie, so maybe start with actually explaining why it's significant and then do the jokes about it. You know? yeah, <laughs> it yeah, feels sure. like they start with the jokes about it, and I'm like, yeah, but I was like, you could tell me the jokes about it, but then also show me why they're sad that the wife died, but you're mm. not. You're just making a big joke about him running around the house going, hey, get out of bed, I don't know, hey, oh no, oh, we're all dead, we didn't make it. Da, da, da. Yeah. And I'm like, I was like, what I'm meant to be feeling here is that he's clearly losing his mind and getting like some OCD tendencies, and that's really sad. But that's not what the tone is telling me. Mm. <laughs> I'm no, like, I, I, know, I get that's yeah. What Wes was trying to do. But uh, like, by the way, before we jump down here, do you want to do a, a do you want to do it on one because it's our last level? So on, on three, two, one. Adam Sandler. <laughs> Adam Sandler. Yeah. Okay. So three. Oh shit! I fell down quick. Oh, fuck. I fell the bus. <laughs> it was an accident. Uh, okay. I, I was only a second behind. We did it. This is this is the end. Yeah, I mean, I um, this is like was his first film with this style as well. Hmm. Um, I mean, I, I liked it, and I liked it hmm. a lot more as it went on. Uh, I was going to make an EFAT meme and say that uh, the best bit was the middle. <laughs> yeah, like the start liked... felt a bit choppy to me tonally, and then it like it found its groove, and I was like, ah, oh, I'm I'm, in, I'm entertained now. I'm really Grand vibing it. Opportunities with both of their hands. Yes, yes, we know. Thank Should've you, Alan Baldwin. I didn't get an achievement for beating the last level either. No, I think you get it here, maybe. Yeah, they can't fly and never will. Yeah, it's a credit fly. spit. This is so, this is fucking cool. Grab, grab, right, let's try and spell I'm Bora. hitting the sackle. Uh, I'm hitting the mazaka. Ah. Try and grab. Okay, Break. E. E. <laughs> uh, we're bringing the E with us. Boys, we're bringing the E with us. <laughs> I hope you're um, ready to party. Is this the first game we finished? Mescaline. Is this the game, first game we finished in uh, Let's Waffle Over? Uh, yes, probably. Wow. We did uh, it! Oh, I got an A, uh, I got an L. L. Got the big L. <laughs> Try and get an F. We'll probably F. finish... Uh, what, so it says Elf? <laughs> yeah, I lost the L anyway, so... Okay. Get, can, now no. it just says E again. E. Damn it. Um, anyway, yeah, so... Oh, I've got an E and an I. Uh, now get... we just need an O. A-O, or A-O, A-O. I was just thinking E-I-E-I-O, but okay. Oh, 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 I'll must be really close. I've got an O. I've got an O, Shaq. I've Yay! Got an o. Nursery rhyme time! <laughs> Let's try to try and get all the vowels. It was made in Tenerife. <laughs> wow. Unless that's oh, just the name of the company. <laughs> Wait, we've got all... If I get this A, we've got all the vowels. Have you got a U? Oh, no, I don't have a U. Shit. <laughs> What about you? I was like, wait, did you do all the vowels? <laughs> Does Sam know English? <laughs> and oh, some an people think Y is a U. They're yeah. wrong, but some people think... <laughs> no, I've just got the O. Anyway, yeah, so... I like whether Pluto's a planet or not. It's the same vibe, same energy. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to let go of the I so I can read from my book. Because I made some notes for once because I thought I'll actually be comprehensive about what I'm saying. Uh, yes... So the first point was tone, which I talked about a little bit. Family Guy meme was the second point, which we talked about. Oh yeah, Tarantino door unlocking. There's a really long, intricate sequence, three times that we have Gwyneth Paltrow opening things and turning things off with her feet. Oh yeah. It felt very strangely (laughs) gratuitous. I was like, why is this happening? She makes Gwyneth Paltrow as well. Yeah, she like unlocks the door with her feet, and then she locks the door with her feet, and then she turns the telly off with her feet. Yeah. And the the last one's like five minutes later, so I'm like, oh, we went back to the feet thing. <laughs> I was like, why why are we doing this as a thing? Mm-hmm. I also mentioned later that I didn't like uh, how Gwyneth Paltrow's character felt like she was really romanticized throughout this, despite being like the like horrible the, the jokey 
Ramona, Ramona Flowers, oh, Manic yeah. Pixie Dream Girl type. Like, I felt like she was worse than Ramona Flowers, but mm. she just reminded me of that song. The, the oh yeah, <laughs> she's definitely well. She's one of those characters that people, like people, Tumblr girls, like oh I love Margot Tenenbaum. She's yeah, so well that's what cool I mean. Energy. It felt like yeah. the movie, the movie showed everything that she did wrong and how flawed she was, but then it also romanticized her as someone that we weren't meant to feel is flawed. Yeah, and I was like, it's weird because everybody else, it felt like we just accepted their flaws, and nobody else in the movie felt like they were really romanticized, apart from potentially the mom and Danny Glover who yeah. hadn't really done anything flaws-wise. It seemed weird that we weren't really meant to accept her flaws. I don't know. Mm. that Maybe that was a personal thing, but I just felt like the movie spent a lot of time saying, like, oh, but look how, like, you know, she's really dreamy, and all the girls would be like, ah, maybe it's just my hatred for Tumblr girls. But Yeah. Uh, and in that note, I've put Danny Glover is a goddamn treasure. <laughs> yeah, he's great. <laughs> Because even at the start, when I wasn't really feeling it, as soon as Danny Glover came on screen, I was like, oh, and then he said things, and I was like, oh. <laughs> and then there was the scene where they were walking after he'd proposed to her, yeah. him and the mom, and then he just falls into a pit. <laughs> they're in, like, an archeolo archeological site. Yeah, yeah, another one. And he's... they're walking together, and then he just drops. And I was like, ah. <laughs> that was one where I was like, that's like an airplane joke, but it worked totally. Yeah. But there's some of them that are, like, airplane jokes that didn't work totally. Like, I think that his trunks didn't arrive for another 11 days thing could have been an airplane joke, but it didn't work tonally with what the movie was doing at the time. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, you know, yeah. It, was, it was odd because <laughs> it was humor that, like, I was like, I would like that in a different movie if it had been set up in a different way. Yeah. But uh, also, I, I made this note of a, the, the Bill Murray line, which is just, you've made a cuckold of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love that. Was like, it's so ahead of its time, ahead of its so time. So ahead of its time. Yeah. <laughs> the full line was, "You made a cuckold of me many times." <laughs> Bill Murray's a big simp in this. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think Bill Murray was in this enough. No, he wasn't. Um, I was a little bit uncomfortable at uh, the way they depicted the relationship with him and the young boy at the end. <laughs> oh yeah. I don't know what that was supposed to I be. I got an F. Press F. To I mean, I guess it was just meant to be their friends. Yeah. But like, there's the bit near the end where he like tells Bill Murray to put on the fireman's hat, and he's like, "Oh, I look silly," and he's like, "No, you look good." And I'm like, "What?" <laughs> and then at the end, at the funeral, he's like got his arm around him, and they're sharing an umbrella while all the other couples are. And I was like, mm. "What?" <laughs> I was like, I, "I know that's not meant to be anything," but I was like, mm. "Feels a bit uncomfortable in these modern times." <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what you're trying to say there. It's got like old school Batman and Robin vibes. You know, all the memes about why do Batman and Robin live together? Yeah, why has he got yeah. a 15-year-old ward? That's basically the type of vibe I was getting. I was like, hmm. I guess hmm. it's good to, I mean, briefly talk about the plot. I mean, essentially, it's Yeah, about I was just going family. through those notes because yeah. they were kind of abstract. Yeah. I went into like the actual movie, movie, movie. Hmm. Well, it's about a very fl flawed family. Oh, there we go. My last um, quote before we go. <laughs> oh, go on. Was, um... Near the I, I get um, maybe spoilers, but probably not because it doesn't have context. Um, when Richie goes, uh, basically when the Owen brothers have the scene together, yeah, and he's like, <laughs> he, he's going to take him to somebody about his drug problem, his mescaline problem, mm. and he's like, I wish you'd done this for me when I was a kid. <laughs> and Luke says, You didn't have a drug problem then. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I know, but it would have been nice. <laughs> That felt like an airplane joke, and yeah. that one worked. I was like, I enjoyed that. There were some very good lines in it. Um, uh, 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 who plays the dad? Is it Gene, Gene, Gene Hack Hackman? Gene, Gene Hackman. Hackman. Yeah, Gene Hackman. Very, very, very fucking He's good. fucking brilliant in this movie. He has some fantastic lines, especially near the end. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I enjoyed it all. Right? I think the fact that there's elements of this movie, specifically uh, some of the aesthetic stuff, some of the tonal stuff, and... Uh, some of the music choices for me were a bit, uh, mm. again, subjective. Like, that's what I mean. It just wasn't my thing. Yeah, But yeah, the fact totally. that it wasn't my thing and I still enjoyed it this much, I think, is a testament to it. Yeah, that's good. That that was basically my thoughts. Mm. By the end of it, I would even say that I would call it my thing despite the stuff that wasn't my thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think overall I enjoyed the movie a lot more than I was put off by the things that weren't really my vibe. Yeah. Oh, I'm stood on a letter. I've, oh, wow, I've just I seen that as well. I'm holding on to an S, because I guess S. I want to take the whole bury word for Matt. Uh, um, I've got a Y. <laughs> I, I really like this movie. It's not my favourite Wes Anderson movie. I think that probably goes to Grand Budapest and Fantastic Mr. Fox. 
Well, there's a lot more Moon Rise Kingdom, which I'll try and get through yeah. at other times, and maybe we'll watch another podcast because yeah. Obviously, as I said, there's only the other four. I'd love to re-watch Rushmore and Life Aquatic. Yeah. I'd love to watch Fantastic Mr. Fox properly. Bottle, Bottle Rocket's very underrated. Bottle Rocket was his first movie, and it's, it's very good. It's Grand Budapest, obviously. Yeah. Uh, Moonrise Kingdom, Isle of Dogs. Moonrise Kingdom was the other one I was thinking of that's really yeah. critically acclaimed, isn't it? Yeah. Isle of uh, Dogs is pretty uh, good, too. I've seen Isle of Dogs, obviously, but I mean, yeah. I'm happy to watch it again and talk about it on the body. Yeah. Isle of Dogs was probably the one that's more my movie, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like, I Love Dogs felt more like everything about it was stuff that I enjoyed aesthetically. Mm. It was my tone. It was my vibe. But I'd probably say um, this and Life Aquatic, I'd give more objective value to. Okay. Not to say I didn't think like uh, I Love Dogs had a lot of objective value. Just I think I can understand why people like this so much. Mm. Oh, there's it, the I can't I can't I can't say the word, but it's the the jarring alum to it. It's one on the I can't fucking say what it's called. Yeah, the, the jarring. It's got is like, it like is it Jal Jaline Jaline something like that. Yeah, you got Adrian Brody, Owen Wilson, and Jason Schwartzman. So I three. think it's a type of tea. If I'm not in the yeah, it's in India. It's set in India, I think. Yeah, from what I remember. I've seen if it I've once. I've had the tea it, before. It's quite nice. I just mm. don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> it wasn't my favorite of his movies. Um, I'll be honest, but I'd probably never rewatch that one. To be honest, I'm taking this Y with me right to the bottom. I because it feels like a riddle, a letter. Because it's a question, but also a letter. <laughs> I got the, I got the D. That feels like a two-faced letter. Because he's a massive rapist. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> we uh, all saw what happened to uh, Sugar and Spice. <laughs> um. Yeah, the plot essentially it's about. Oh this no, I'm hitting your D. Very broken <laughs> and fucked oh, no, up family. Sam, so stop hitting me with the D. This is what I'm ha, saying. Ha, ha, massive rapist. Yeah, it's about a very fucked up family called the Tenenbaums, um, and Royal is the the father of the family. And I mean, long story short, uh, he lies about having. I mean, is it cancer? It's cancer, isn't it? Yeah, stomach but, cancer. Yeah, stomach cancer, and they're all like, "Oh, we all gotta like get together and be there for him as he dies." And Apart stuff. from Ben Stiller's actually... character. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who's still like, "Nah, get the fuck out." Yeah. Um, <laughs> And it's essentially about the family and them all coming back together, I guess, and, and rediscovering the relationships. And yes, it's a good movie in that. I, I plot-wise, I quite I, I thought it was it was really it was really good. It's there's not much to it other than that, other than like them all coming back together, and there's, there's lots of different character arcs and trees, and there's that there's a lot of characters in it really, because it's a very big family. So there's a lot going on, and I think I think it's one movie. Like I, that's why I suggest it to you over Grand Budapest, over because. I'm racing you to the bottom now. <laughs> Fuck. But it's oh, no, my go. favourite. But I think the Royal Tenenbaums is interesting because there's so much to take out of it with all the characters and yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's a lot of different stories. Yeah, whereas Budapest is like one story. Um, and I thought it was interesting just to see this because it was his third film and it's the first time he did this kind of style. And um, I guess it set a precedent for what his movies are. Yeah, yeah. Because obviously, when I rewatched that Family Guy skit, I was like, "Oh, there's there's so much of that movie in this skit." Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's that and Life Aquatic. Oh, Life Aquatic's got a little bit more of his older stuff in it. I think his first two movies. Yeah, Life Aquatic's a weird one because I I, I, I I see what's totally similar, but it also felt different. It's hard to try and objectively describe a vibe, but mm. you know what I mean. <laughs> like the vibe of Life Aquatic felt Disney, Disney. <laughs> <laughs> Wheatley? Wheatley? Yes! <laughs> I'm going to change it to Meatly. Oh, no. <laughs> I Fuck got you. your head. <laughs> hey, you can't beat me to the bottom now, can you? You got dick? my heads. <laughs> you got my heads. And we will all <laughs> We're holding on to the D. We've got together. the D. <laughs> Bye. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> oh, no, I got stuck. Fuck you! <laughs> yeah, um... I mean, I, I really like. Oh, I think my favorite character is probably Royal, and I like Richie. I think Luke Wilson's such an underrated actor. Yeah, like I never was... thought of him as much until this movie. I mean, yeah. this is the movie where I was like, oh, he's he's, he's good better in Bottle than Rocket. Owen. This by far. Yeah, he's good in Bottle Rocket. They're both in Bottle Rocket together as well. Um, uh, and yeah, I he he he's very good. He carries it. I think as much as I hate Gwyneth Paltrow, she's. Decent. I think the, a lot of performances are really yeah, good. Yeah, they're all decent yeah. in it. Like I said, I mean, I, I didn't dislike her story or like her, her arc or anything. I just, I felt like, I felt like she was romanticized. But maybe that might just be me thinking about how 
I just knew that was how audiences would see her. I yeah. don't know. I also I, I did I do feel like the movie romanticized her a little bit. Yeah. Oh, the scene oh, yeah. near the end, they're on the rooftop. Yeah. Oh. What now? <laughs> Everyone finds it weird because the brother and sister, but they're kind of not at the same time. It's like. Oh yeah, that was what one of my favorite mm. uh, royal lines was when Richie's talking to him about it on the rooftop. Yeah. He's like, it's probably illegal, and he's like, well, we're not blood related. No, it's probably <laughs> frowned upon. Then he goes, mm, but what isn't these days? <laughs> Fuck off, Alec Baldwin. <laughs> No, I don't know. I thought it was uh, a very charming little endeavour, especially, like I said, even though at the start I was kind of like, uh, this, this is a bit... It was like the Family Guy meme, basically, like I said. A lot of it felt a little bit too quirky. It was like it was trying hard, too hard to be quirky. But yeah. then I feel like it loses that a little bit as it goes on. And then it just becomes a level of quirky that I'm actually, like, really enjoyed. Yeah. But then I really disliked the epilogue. Yeah, I... I don't mind it. I I quite like it personally. Um, if I'm being honest, How, why do you dislike it? Um, well, to begin with, as I said, I just felt like the narration itself was a little bit over the top, quirky, and like tried to be too silly. Yeah. Like I didn't really enjoy the narration aspect too much, uh, and I guess just because it just felt like all of the memes, but not just the memes about. Wes Anderson, like, it was like the old 80s movie memes, you know? John went on to get a job in a Burger King working oh, as a... Oh, yeah, yeah. Gemma went and did this, and so and so so, and I was like, okay, we don't need to... <laughs> like, it felt like the movie ended on the rooftop, and then it was just another five minutes of exposition that I yeah. didn't feel like I needed. And then I also didn't like spoilers, by the way, but hey. <laughs> I didn't like the fact that they just killed off Royal. Yeah, I was like that felt undeserved after the whole movie. To be honest, I was like, okay. oh. I was like, it felt like you didn't show like you showed us that he was going to reconnect with his kids, yeah. but then you didn't actually show us him reconnecting with his kids, and then you just tell us he died. Mm. And there's like a nice bit where they're like, oh, and Ben Stiller's character was the only one who saw him as he died. And yeah. I'm like, oh, that's nice, because obviously they didn't have much of a good relationship before then. Yeah. But I'm like, still fucking shitty for the other kids and the wife and everybody, like. And yeah. I was like, still a bit of a downer ending for the <laughs> I was like, it felt like, I don't know, it felt like he'd already finished the story, and then he was like, ah, oh, but I kind of want to tell you what happens to all the characters after the story. And I'm like, you don't need to. That's not how stories work. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know. I, I don't, don't know, know if it was like a self-aware kind of thing. Oh, I got or... an achievement. I just yeah, it was a perfectionist one. I think it's because I just moved this ch <laughs> bench to be quite nice. Yeah, I like um, the bench with the wall. Um, yeah. yeah, it felt. To, I'm trying to think of another movie similar kind of thing. It would be like watching Hereditary, and then at the end of Hereditary, it says, um, I can't remember the name, main character in that was the kid. Yeah, I can't. What's the actor's name? Ah. Oh, um... Ah, oh, fuck, what is his name? One of the wolf kids. Alex Wolf, is it? Okay. Yeah. I'll just call him that, even though I'm talking about his character. It would be like at the end of Hereditary if there was a narration of Tony Collette going, Alex Wolf went on to start a demonic cult now that he was possessed by Pylemon. Yeah. Uh, you know, this character did this. The old lady that I thought was my friend but was actually part of the cult and got me killed went on to have six kids and work at a Burger King. <laughs> and I'm like... Mm. None of this adds anything. I was like, you don't have to do this. The movie's already... F it just felt odd. It, it felt like another example of, like, I get it, you're quirky. Like, you've already told... Like, we don't need this. I don't yeah. know. I didn't like the narration at all. Like I said, it just felt tonally there uh, to me. Mm. Like, it felt like a meme. And I was like, uh, I'm sure a lot of people love it. I was like, yeah. Obviously, that's a, that's a subjective thing. That's me saying that wasn't my ting because yeah. it wasn't my ting. I'm already up me. at the train thing, but I can't do anything without you, I don't think. I'll come back. I just climbed um, the train rather than went the normal way. <laughs> yeah, I, I, this is the thing. I think with Wes Anderson movies, I understand like why some people have some problems with them. Whether, whether they like, like, like you said, you liked it. Uh, ultimately, we had problems with it. I understand why people do have issues with it. Like, I heard a lot of reviewers say, oh, I like the movie and I don't know what they do with it, but this bit just kind of annoys me because it's Wes Anderson. I'm like, yeah, I get that. Like, there's some bits of his movies that I think he just kind of, like, he just tries too hard to do that, that aesthetic that he's always done. And I'm like, okay, 
We get it, but... Yeah, that's what I mean. It was literally just that that was the meme I kept going back to in my head. It was like, we get it, you're quirky. Yeah. We get it, you're quirky. <laughs> but the middle of the movie doesn't have much of that, to be honest. I actually quite liked it. Um, the scene it's with Richie going, yeah. attempting suicide. Yeah. Level end, by the way. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> the scene with Richie attempting suicide had some quirk to it, but yeah. it still made me feel... Whereas the earlier stuff felt like it was prioritizing the quirk over the emotional impact. Yeah. So later I felt like it got better at it. But then I felt like it didn't at the end. Like I felt like Royal's death was just all about the quirk again. Yeah. I'm just going to jump over there. Yeah, yeah, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. Um... See so how much we can speed run all the levels. Yeah. <laughs> would, you, would you recommend it? Oh yeah, definitely. Like, like... yeah. Objectively, I was I'm probably, I don't know, after watching it, I want to say 8 out of 10, but realistically, I'll probably say 11. Okay. Not 11. 7. <laughs> 11 out of 10. I thought you said 7, to be honest. Yeah, I meant to say 7. Yeah. I just fucked my words up. Yeah, no, uh, I... I nearly speedrun yeah. the level, but now I've dropped down here and I can't. Fuck's sake. Let me kill myself. In real life. Yes. I jumped over there the first time, so I must be able to do it again. No, guess not. Oh, fuck it. Guess we'll take the boringly slow elevator. But yeah, there was some like nice emotion to those scenes. Uh, I liked the relationship between Royal and um, the butler dude. I forgot his name. The I Indian guy. Yeah. I know who you mean. I just totally forgot his name. And you just keep stabbing him in the gut. Yeah. That's <laughs> what so, I mean. A lot of the comedy was like surrealist, almost like airplane style, but then it also yeah. had a lot. It's very deadpan, some of it as it well. Was try which is what oh, he's staple. Oh, <laughs> get back down. Yeah, it was also trying to make us feel a lot, which worked a lot of the time, but sometimes clashed, I felt. Yeah. So I think it was interesting. I think that's why I like Budapest the most. No, if you've not seen it, I feel like that's the time when he. That seems to be the stage when Wes Anderson was like, "Yes, I finally pinned down the style. I finally pinned down the comedy." Obviously, you've not seen it, but I hope. Hopefully, you'll see what I mean when we do watch it eventually. But yeah, he, it. Yeah, you'll get it then. It seems a bit more. He, he balances the tones very, very much, oh. a lot better. Um, I think that's probably the same in Rise Kingdom. Moon Rise Kingdoms. Very good as well to do in doing that. Um, and he's got his new movie coming out when I guess the world stops ending, uh, which is the French Dispatch, which I'm excited for. Um, I couldn't remember the name of it, but I knew like the syntax of the phrase in my yeah. head. I was like, the Spanish Express, <laughs> and you were like, the French Dispatch. I was like, yes, that's the one. <laughs> Same energy. <laughs> yeah, I've I've seen it a few times. I'd probably give it an eight. Personally, it's not my favourite of his films, but um, yeah, I'll, I'll stick with good. my eight. I mean, that was my first feeling was eight. Yeah, I think I'd give it like a subjective seven and an objective eight. Mm. I'm going to start doing that for movies that I'm a little bit split on because I feel like it helps separate my subjective arguments from my objective. Yeah, yeah. Objectively, it's, it's a very good, charming movie with a lot of like valuable cinematography mm. and uh, good acting, interesting writing interesting dialogue it has a little bit of tonal issues but not enough to put me off the movie yeah and yeah subjectively there was some stuff i didn't like just on like a personal level like i'm just kind of like that's not my thing you know what i mean yeah yeah yeah. be like um another example i guess would be like what we talked about before with the cyberpunk stuff is like you said you're a bit bored of watching cyberpunk movies yeah not because they're not your thing but you know what i mean like that that, that would affect your enjoyment a bit yeah similar kind of thing i guess uh, I don't know. I guess it'd be like watching a Tim Burton movie and being like, "Oh, I don't really like um, like gothic theme things, but yeah. I enjoyed this." It's kind of that vibe. I was like, "I didn't really like a lot of the visual aesthetic." Uh, it comes down to a lot of preference. And but stuff, I liked I the like, effort yeah. that was put into the visual aesthetic. Yeah, I'm gonna try and go for the rope. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> you want it? Yeah, but I'm really high up. Ah. I'm going to try and get lower. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 uh. 
Cool! Ah! Oh, fuck. <laughs> I like that it went from Tarzan to panic. <laughs> like the calm panic meme, but instead of calm, it's Tarzan. <laughs> um, more. Yeah, one of the things I wanted to point out uh, is I, I, there was a scene where the private investigators following... Uh, 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 oh shit, you fucked me up then. I had it that. It's okay, I just wanted to make it to... <laughs> Uh, whatever her name is, Gwyneth Paltrow's character. Yeah, oh fuck. Neither of us made it. And we will all you ruined it. down together. You ruined it! <laughs> Sorry, go on. Uh, the private investigator is following her character. And yeah. um, I looked in, they go over a bridge and there's a lot of like cars going past in the background. Yeah. And I paused it just out of interest to look and it seems as though... There's about 20 to 30 cars in that shot, and they're all in the distance, and they're all, like, traveling really far away from where the filming is. Okay. But as far as I can tell, all of the cars in that scene were, like, aged to fit with the aesthetic of the movie. Mm-hmm. So I assume that they'd, like, book that entire area to film that scene, and that yeah. all of those cars were extras. Yeah. Because, like, there weren't any modern cars, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Which is, it's like... There's a lot of effort put into that, I guess, was my point. Yeah. Like, the money oh, definitely... the money it would have taken to shut down an area of the city like that, because it's a big built city, doesn't look like a film set. <laughs> yeah. To shut down, like, blocks of a city, to fill it with a load of extras driving cars that are um, chronologically themed to when your movie's set or when your movie's trying to evoke. They're yeah. all, like, 70s and 80s cars, I guess. <laughs> and I was like, he's, he's... Oh. Yeah, he's very good at. I think he's very good. Period. Kind of. He's good at getting like, capturing like a culture and a period. I feel yeah, like. Yeah, I mean Violet credit Dogs, to him, but I was is, also thinking like yeah. credit to the producers because like. Oh yeah, yeah. To be like, they could have been like, no, film this scene somewhere Fuck. else where it's less busy, and it can it could be the same scene without the cars in the background. But they were like, yeah, no, nah, yeah, we'll give you the money to do that. We'll shut down three blocks in New York. It'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, nice. go on, mate. Good other. Yeah. So, so yeah. um, anything else? Uh, I guess we'll plug Game Bytes, because Game Bytes is out now. Yeah, go check out our first episode. I'll put it in the end cards, so I'll skip to the end cards and you can uh, did you like my give our first episode a watch. I did. I was also offended, because I'm not a fucking furry. <laughs> I was like, I wonder if Sam will change this, or <laughs> they'll just leave it. I thought, no, I'll keep it, I'll keep it. <laughs> I thought I was pretty fair. I specifically mm. said you're proving that you're not a furry. By playing with a lot of animals. <laughs> yeah. All right. It's it's objectively right. true. I I suppose. Maybe you should have picked a different game. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you should have picked a different uh g- game. Oh, I did. I yeah. Find I out next week when I release my first episode of Game Boy. <laughs> Yay! I'm going to be playing Hitman Blood Money. I think. Yes. Exciting. Exciting. <laughs> I always confuse it with Absolution, but yes, it's Blood Money. Yes, yeah, so check out our new fun. series. It's going to be pretty fun. Uh, we've got, we've got, uh, should we talk about some of the games we play, or should we just leave it as a surprise? Yeah, leave it as a surprise. I- I'll say we're playing Blood Money, because I've talked about it before, but that- that'll be next week's, and then we've got some joint games that we played together, we've got some more things that we played separately, and it's been really fun to do them all, and to edit them, and to try and make something funny out of them. Yeah, they're just more like yeah, short comedy it. kind of. They like gaming skits. That's what I would call them. They're gaming skits, kind of in a way. Oh yes, there's like a, small, a little. Short... I mean, it's quite a good narrative to yours. I mean, yours yeah. is like connected jokes. I felt. Yeah. Uh, I really enjoyed the warthogs joke. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Simple one, but it tickled me. Uh, but there's like a full-on narrative to my uh, <laughs> my blood money one that you'll uh, mm. I'll have to wait and see. But it involves the beautiful cinema Roberto. Oh yes, so. a god amongst men. Be excited for that. And just like real life cinema, Roberto, he's pro genocide. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, so they'll be coming out. We're doing one a, one a week, coming out on a Saturday, Saturday evening. Yeah. Uh, we've got eight of them lined up. We're going to try and do things like that for a while, I think, because obviously you're starting to go back to work soon, and I'm doing more work from my little abode. Mm. So we're going to try and do things where we record stuff more in advance and then release them in like series so this is like season one of game bites i guess yeah and after that we'll probably release a series of something else that we've recorded in the meantime 
yeah. but that way that if we ever need a little break we'll have a little break and we'll just stick to the body for a while but for the most part we'll try and keep getting new things coming out yeah we're going to work on the film as well at some point because I've been kind of putting together the idea we talked about which I won't mention on here but yay I had a really yeah. good idea for a little uh, a little drama I don't oh, write yeah? a lot of dramas most of mine are usually horrors or comedies <laughs> so I was like oh yeah. that actually has potential for some feels Oh, you'll have to, do, you'll have to so, tell me after this. I'll give this. you the deets after we stop recording. Yeah. So there's a little teaser for all you bastards who don't get to hear. Ah. <laughs> well, thank you guys Please for watching, watching Human Fall Flat, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for watching Human Fall Flat. We've had a lot of fun. Yeah, we'll crack on with the last time next week. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure if we'll finish it, but we might. Who knows? Give it a go, yeah. Uh, so, I mean, um, we probably won't finish it next week, but we'll finish it. No. We'll finish it overall. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we might play something else in the middle, just so it doesn't get stale. Yeah. But we'll see how we're feeling. Sweet. Ah, I got the rope. If anybody actually cares and watches and wants to recommend anything, by all means do. Mm, do it. Have any games uh, be fun to play? We'll fall, get on apparently, it. Apparently Fall Guys is really good. Mm. Uh, it's a new game that's come out. Um, and it's co-op. I don't know too much about it, but I've heard some good about, stuff. I think, oh, there's like there's actually something here. I wonder if this is an achievement. Get it. There's a cave that has like a like the door ripped off it and now I'm in a cave with a lamp. You a moth? Uh it looks like there's a breakable thing here, but I don't know what to do with it. I've got nothing to break it with. I haven't got an achievement yet. <laughs> well, um I brought something with me. Oh. Oh. Maybe I fucked up. Okay, guys, you all have a good time, and we'll see you all next week. I don't know what the fuck we're watching, because we haven't thought that through yet, but we'll work about. We'll work it out. Mm. Yay! So Be excited. Oh, there's like a green glowing cube. It's a green cum. <laughs> <laughs>